Trigger Morton just blew into town. Did you tell him I wanted to see him? He said he'd drift over shortly. Why look for trouble, Ace? If he gets suspicious that you framed this jail term on him, he's going to be killing mad. I'm aiming to tell him. It'll be the last thing you ever tell. Oh, I reckon we can handle him all right. But you can't meet him on the draw. And if you shoot him in the back, well, that ain't going to look so good. We got that all figured out. Well, I don't like it. There's bound to be an accountant between Trigger and us sooner or later. And I'd rather have it happen right now when I got everything arranged. Well, brother, I own this thing. Bring no sheep into this valley. And what do you... Bartender, I'm looking for Ace Kendall. Where is he? You trigger Morton? Yeah. He's playing cards in the back room. Thanks. What do you mean? I'm thinking they might know who framed that jail stretch on me. And suppose they tell you that I did. I'll be looking you up. You don't have to ask anybody. Just ask me. All that I'm asking you. And I'm telling you, I framed that job. I sent you up. You don't figure you're going to hone in on our little game and we're going to let you get away with it now, do you, Mr. Morton? Looks like you're handing me a showdown, Ace. A showdown, yes. And me holding a winning hand. It's Ace. We got to get him to the doctor. Trigger's out here yet? No, he ain't had time. Just sprung him out of jail last Monday. Hey, how is he going to locate us? This is new country for Trigger. Oh, well, I sent word to him to head for Watsonville. Joe will be waiting for him there. What kind of a place is this, Watsonville? Oh, just a little boom town. Sprung up since they opened the Pandora mine. That don't sound very interesting. <laughs> More interest in new things. Pandora payroll goes through there. You hear from the rest of the boys? Yeah, they'll be joining up any time now. Here we are. Gives you at the end of the week. Closing our stores, afraid to go on the street. Because Bill Holman and his cowboys want to play Wild West. What we need is some more order in this town. There's other ways besides range law. And like as not, there's a law somewhere to fit Bill Holman. Well, who are you going to get to enforce it? That's it. Every sheriff we get winds up in Boot Hill Cemetery. I've said before and I say it again. Bill Holman is a menace to this community and we've got to find some way to deal with him. Somebody's got to talk to Holman and tell him to stop shooting up this town. Say, why don't you do the talking, Zeke? All right. I don't pack a gun, and Holman won't do anything to put a noose around his own neck.
curfew. Is no. he wearing the Bar X brand? No, he ain't. What's your verdict? Find out. Make him buy the drink. I can't. I'm broke. Prisoner pleads not guilty on account of he ain't got no money. What do we do about it? Dump him. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. boy. <laughs> Remember where you are. Please. No money, huh? Oh, he got boy. nothing on Please. Now, you ain't gonna miss this because you didn't know oh, you had it. <laughs> well, here's to you, Johnny. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey. Well, there. <laughs> well, here's to you, Shorty. Next time you're broke, we'll buy you a drink. <laughs> but you took all my money. What are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Get going. You're breaking my heart. Oh. Get going. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come right on here. Let me go. Let me go. I'm here on business. I want to talk to Bill Holmes. Let him go. Bill's going to Tucson on business. What's ailing you? Well, to tell you the truth, these monkey shines of yours are bad for business. And I suppose you want us to stay out of your town, is that it? If you can't behave yourself, yes. <laughs> and I'm expecting some sort of an answer. There's my answer to you and your pasty faced storekeepers. <laughs> what Zeke needs is a good hair cutter. What's the matter with you? Hair! Hair, you drunken fool! Where's it? Starts coming out of your ears. It's time to stop. Well, if you ain't looking for trouble, young fella, I wouldn't advise you to go in there. Well, trouble never bothers me much. Thanks. Well, he was going to say. Well, a new customer. <laughs> the drinks are on you. Just a minute, boys. I'm a little particular who I drink with. What do you have? Give me something wet, bartender. Make it water. Tough hombre, huh? Give him a broom or something. Howdy, stranger. Nice little town you have here, bartender. Tell me, say. Say, I'm talking to you. Mighty peaceful and quiet when I come in. Say, are you deep? I sure admire peace and quiet. They folks around here generally listen to me when I talk to them. You know, bartender, where I come from, we've got a curious custom. Man minds his own business, we don't bother him none. Why, you? Hey, listen, if you can't understand good plain English, maybe you can understand this. It's the same language, partner. Words is much safer. Anybody else hanging for an argument? I'm warning you, stranger. You better come a shooting the next time we meet. Better give that hand a chance to heal first. This is my fight. Who told you to butt in? What? Hold on, mister. You're badly hurt. You better come with me and get fixed up first. Thanks, partner. I guess I kind of overplayed my hand that time. That's Trigger, all right. Looks like he's been shot. We'll get the Emory that did that. No, you don't. Our orders are to lay low and keep him out of trouble. Looks like he's been taken care of, all right. Yeah. Come on, let's report back to Chuck.
Sit down here. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Mrs. Morgan. Coming? The man has been shot. Shot? By whom? Oh, the Bar X gang, as usual. Oh, why can't they handle those devils? Well, that will come in time. Right now, we got a job of nursing to do. But I reckon you can handle it till we get a doctor. Of course. Molly, you go get the doctor. Zeke, you stay and help me get him to bed. Our sick man in there is mighty quiet today. You better take a peek, Molly, and see how he's doing. All right, Molly. Well, my goodness. You shouldn't be up. The doctor said you ought to be in bed. Well, I never did go in much for doctors. Besides, I feel as good now as I ever did. Well, you're not strong enough to travel yet. Maybe not, but... Uh, well, why are you in such a hurry to leave here? Well, lace curtains and women always did make me nervous. And besides, I... I can't afford to run up much of a bill. A bill? Well, I never heard of such a thing. Ma! Ma! Yes, what is it? Mr. Morton says he's traveling. Says he can't afford to run up much of a bill. Come here, young man. This is my house, and I bought you. So you think you're well enough to travel, huh? Well, I you just take off that belt and gun, and get right back in your bed. I'm not going to get back in that bed, Mom. I'm not going to take off the guns, because I've got a hunch I better keep them on as long as I'm able to stand on my two feet. But I am mighty indebted to you. Oh, oh I'll see who it is, Mom. Morning. Morning. How do, Molly? How's the patient doing? Well, right now he's standing on both of his own feet and talking about traveling. Well, he seems to mend it in a hurry. Mind if we see him? All right, sir. I heard your voice, partner. I'd rather die than stay in that bed another day. Well, you'll be a darn sight safer in bed. You know Bill Holman's going to shoot out with you since you and his foreman tangled. I figured as much. Hmm. Well, do you think you'll leave or are you going to stay around? I most always play my hand out when it's dealt to me. <laughs> Good. That's what I told the boys you'd do. Now, we've got a proposition to make. Go ahead, shoot. Well, since you're aiming to have it out with Bill Homan, why not use one stone to kill two birds? What's the color of the other bird? Now, if you let us pin this sheriff's badge on you and do it officially, it'd be a mighty fine thing for this town. Me, a sheriff? <laughs> That's really funny. Well, it may seem funny to you, but we're plumb serious. You see, we've been delegated by the citizens of this town to come and ask you. But you don't know anything about me. If you did, you'd see how really amusing it is. Well, I've seen enough that I'm convinced you're just the man for the job. Thanks a lot, but I can't accept it. Well, I can't say I blame you much for turning down a job that every man in town is afraid of. This wild Bill Holman is a pretty dangerous character. You don't think Bill Holman has anything to do with me not accepting it, do you? Well, maybe not. Well, that's easy to settle. I'll accept it. I sure wish you luck. Thanks. I may need it. Why well, try to pawn that job off on a stranger? Can't you see he's just tricking you into taking it? Well, yes, Mom. I can see the strategy, all right, but I'm just that kind of a fool. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Morton. All right. Who missing it? The office is right over across the street. You'll find the door open. Hey, Mike. Morning. Land sakes, I clean forgot. A stranger came in when I was handing out the mail this morning and asked me to give you this. It's all right, ma'am. Maybe it's not important anyhow. Anything wrong? Oh, 
No. Just a letter from, from a friend. Take off that tin badge and slip off your gun belt. I'll give you plenty of argument. I'm always willing to oblige. Looks like the new sheriff made his first mistake. Still got time to put that sign back where you got it. idea of leaving town so soon. Well, I got tangled up with that new shirt. Yeah. You know, I'm quite anxious to meet that gent myself. Alone. You pull a sample into town after I get rid of him. Holman, you ain't easy. No. Then we'll see about that. We'll just keep out of range and be handy if Bill happens to need us. coming to shoot it out with you. Maybe so. Why must grown men settle their differences with guns? Why should you want to kill each other? Miss Molly, you know, that's something I never have been able to figure out. Say, that pilot's mighty good. I'm going to have me a piece of that right now. Here. 
Hey, Sheriff. Sheriff. Excuse me, Miss Molly. Is the Sheriff in? Right in here. Bill Holden's down at the saloon. He told me to give you this. He said if you didn't come down there, he's coming up here. I'll save him the trouble. Excuse me. I'd sure like to got that piece of pie. Might have slowed me down, though. Did you bake that pie, Miss Molly? Oh, I... I wish I knew how to stop you from going down there. Miss Molly, I guess nobody can do that. Seems to be all right. He's hollering for a doctor. Oh, I don't think it'll be anything that'll prove fatal. I didn't intend for it to be. You know, you were the first man in this town ever wore that badge and come out top dog. Yeah? Maybe in a week or so, I'll be the underdog. Folks around here will be wanting to string me up. Oh, what makes you talk like that? I've seen things like that happen before. How do you feel now, boss? I'm a little bit dizzy, but I guess I'm all right. We'll take care of Sheriff Morton. No, big boy. Morton draws fast, but he shoots square. And from now on, the Bar X crowd will do their celebrating outside of town limits and work with the law. Go ahead. Can I help you? No, thanks. I can manage it alone. Say, so you're pretty handy with that broom. <laughs> well, it's a new broom. You know the old saying, a new broom sweeps clean. That's right. You know something? What? Well, uh, Mother and I have been talking, just between ourselves, you know. And, well, we were wondering, well, just what's on your mind? You always act as though you were looking for someone that never showed up. Know what I mean? <laughs> Who would I be looking for? Or who'd be looking for me? I don't know. Who would be? Oh, Sheriff, you inside? Be right out. Excuse me, Miss Molly. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Zeke. Hi. I invite you in. Molly's in there cleaning out the cobwebs. Oh. Got time to sit down? Oh, sure, that's fine. Oh, swing our legs off of the belt. <laughs> What's on your mind, Zeke? Oh, nothing important. I just come from a meeting of the town council. 
Say, I'll bet before I come here, this is quite a boom town. Plenty of pay dirt going through here. Mm-hmm. Plenty of pay dirt coming through here now. The Pandora payroll? I've been aiming to tell you about that for more than a week. You know, I kind of feel responsible. Now, when Morgan was killed, Molly's father, I got the appointment for his widow as postmistress and express agent. I see. Well, Miss Molly, you cleaned that up in a hurry. Yes. Well, it wasn't much, really. You were starting to say something when Miss Molly come out, Zeke. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how there's a lot of the town folks that don't like the idea of a woman postmistress. And if anything was to happen to the Pandora payroll, why, it might look as though the job was just a little too much for a woman, and she'd be out. Don't you see? Yes, I do see. Well, I thought, seeing as how you were boarding across the street with them, that uh, you might kind of keep your eye on the keys to the safe. Well, I guess I'll mosey back. So long. So long, Zeke. you boys think I have, you're clean out of luck. Why well, couldn't raise a hundred dollars? With what I've got in mind, you can get twenty thousand. I don't get you. Payroll for the Pandora mine comes through here on the night of the 30th, don't it? And they put it in a post office safe and you live in a room in back of it. I see. You boys... Be out of town on the night of the 31st when we come into town. Where are you camping? Oh, uh, first draw west of town. Did you say the 31st? Right. Well, what are you doing that for? Just so I won't forget it. Oh. Well, go on, Trick. Go on, boys. I'll be seeing you. I'm thinking you will. 
Jim, the way you acted in church today, you would have thought the roof was falling on top of you. The way you sat and looked around and up at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the first time I've been in church for quite a while. And you'd be better off if you attended more often. <laughs> that's what I used to tell my husband. Oh, it was an awful job to try to get him to go to church. Father never was much of a church goer, was he? No. Well, you know, I think I will be. Good night, Jim. Good night, Lowe. Don't you be up too late. Jim, tell me something. Why do they call you Trigger? Why, uh... uh is it because you're so handy with those guns? I guess it is. Haven't they ever gotten you into any trouble? Oh, yes, they have. Jim, you started to tell Mother something tonight before I came into the room. Something about what happened before you came here. When I came in, you stopped talking. Don't you think I ought to know? Miss Molly, there's a lot of things I'd like to tell you. I can't yet. Well, I guess I'll go out and mosey around the street a little before I turn in. But this time of night? Yes. I won't be out late. I have the keys, too. Good night. Good night. Hey, kid, hustle up some more wood here. Be an hour before we go to work, Jeff. Gonna be very popular. Why, what's the matter now? Button your lip. Let him talk. Sit down, Trig. Well, we're listening. You boys ain't riding into town. Why, well, you going soft on us, are you? I am, that needn't bother you. You fellas are entitled to a warning, and I'm posting it now. Hmm. Well. I can understand an old wolf getting a bit unsociable after he's been penned up. But this sure enough beats me. Speak up plain, Chuck. I've been a-thinking. Maybe that payroll looks bigger when it's all in one chunk without no splitting. That's plain enough, ain't it? You can think whatever you want. As long as you stay out of town. And if we don't? You'll be seeing me. Maybe you'll arrest us and uh, put us in jail, uh, eh, Sheriff? That ain't at all unlikely. <laughs> Go ahead, Chuck. Have a good laugh. Don't let your sense of humor lead you into making a mistake. Now you listen to me. We're going to get that payroll. You can throw in with us or not, just as you like. That's right, Chuck. Right, we're with you. Said it. I've had my say, boys. Just a minute. Seeing as you've been a warning this, maybe there's a joker in this deck that you ought to know about. What's that? Hey, kid! Hey, kid! 
Come here. Let this law and order brother of yours get a look at you. Hello, Trigger. What are you doing here? Oh, I got tired of hanging on to Ma's apron strings. When did you arrive? A couple of days before you got out of jail. You get back on your horse and get going. Don't you stop till you get home. I told him you'd hide tail him since you found out. I don't have to do it if I don't want to. Kid, you're going. Listen, Trigger. I'm free white and 21. And you're through bossing me. If you don't think so, you just try it. Yeah, I hated to do that, kid. I'm not going to let you get mixed up in this. Look out, Trey! Those guns ready. I got them. Come here, get that line on his hand. Get it. There. Make it tight. Tight. There. Oh. Keys, eh? <laughs> Maybe they'll open the safe in the express office. Well, we'll soon find out. Come on, boys, let's go. Kid! Ed! Come here. Come here, boy. Ed? Remember you promised to go straight? Yeah. Well, I'm holding you to that promise. You can't do this. Come on. It's not right, and you know it. Come on, Ed. Trigger? I... I... Make up your mind, kid. You're gonna stay here, or do you want to get in on that payroll? I'm sorry, Trigger. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Uh, Rab, you stay here and watch it. I thought I smelled something burning up the old tricks, eh, Trigger? Pretty smart. Mark. into town quiet like and separate when we get there. Who's going in after the money? I am. You boys stay out of sight and be ready to cover me up. You betcha. Now, as soon as I get the money, I'll whistle. I will drift out quiet like, just like we came in. All right.
think I'll just play me a little poker. Go ahead. Ah, deal me in, boys. Jim. Jim. Oh. It's Trigger. Make him follow you. Mom. Oh. You didn't get the money, did they? No. Where's Trigger? Well, he's out. After them, I guess. Hoy. Sure scared me for a minute. <laughs> well, now that everything's all right, Molly, we can just lock up. Good night, Zeke. Uh, good night. Chuck, 
I can't forget you did me a good turn once. Get up from there. Come on. Don't ever let our trails cross again. I get going. Come on. Tell them which way they went. We'll never pick up their trail tonight. Let's go back. Now that we're all together, we better shake the dust of this country off our boots. With that haul we made, we better leave right away. That haul ain't with us. What? Trigger got it. Why that? Where's the kid? Oh, they must have got him. I hope so. Able to ride, buddy? I'll try. Well, get on your horse. All right, get off of that horse. There's a prisoner for you, Sheriff. He had a spill out there, and I picked him up while he's still counting stars. Bring him in. Sit down. 
Sit down. Where's the rest of them? They come back empty-handed. I'll handle this one. <laughs> All right, but he's a spunky little devil. And you tell Jim Morton to drink this coffee and to get over here just as soon as he can and have his breakfast. Goodness sakes, that man's been up all night long. It's a good thing for us, he was. Well, Eddie, what have you got to say to this? I guess I ain't got much to say now. You wouldn't take my advice, kid. You wouldn't listen to my warning. I ought to let you take your medicine. What are you going to do with me, Jim? You being my brother makes it mighty difficult. I'm going to put you in a cell for safekeeping. You wouldn't put me in jail, would you, Jim? For safekeeping. So some of the citizens around here don't take it into their head to make you an example of Western justice. Come on. Why do you think I turned against the men that used to be my friends? Why do you think I shouted out with Chuck and the rest of the boys? I don't know. I can't answer that. Because I thought I could start all over again with a clean slate. Because I saw a chance of happiness and was fool enough to think I could have it. Give me one break, Jim. I'm your brother. I'll go straight. I didn't know what I was getting into when I joined up with that gang. Honest, I didn't. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Jim. I brought you some coffee. I thought maybe you'd like some. Thanks a lot. I'm not hungry. Give it to my prisoner in there. I was wondering if I was ever going to eat again. The sheriff said for me to give you this. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I'm beginning to realize what my brother meant when he said he had a real chance at happiness. Why did you ever come here? I don't know. We're out. Would you go straight? Would I? You just give me a chance. Where are you going? 
I'm heading back where I belong. Why? Well, it's no use me staying here now. That kid I've got over there in jail. My brother. I know that. But no one else does. You don't have to go. Your record's clean here. You're respected. Only the future counts now. Gee, that's nice of you to say that, Molly. But, was the kid in jail? Oh, I saw him riding away just a moment ago. And he was on your horse, too. On Tarzan? Yes, Jim. Yes. You see, you brought back the payroll. That meant a lot to my mother. Your brother means a lot to you. I gave him a chance. We don't want you to go. Molly, I guess there is something about looking forward to the future. <laughs> <laughs> 